Choosing a Linux distribution could be one of the most challenging things for a Linux user. There are many different excellent options that you can choose from, but where do you start? Today we're going to be trying to answer that question. I'm going to give you a few things to consider when you're choosing a Linux distribution, something you can look for, and hopefully this will help you decide which distribution you want to go with. And of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like. And if you have any comments or questions, you can leave in the comments section below. All right, without further ado, let's go get started. Let's go. Each Linux distribution has its own strengths and disadvantages. And today we're gonna to try to cover most popular distribution that you can download and see their strong sides as well as their disadvantages. And the disadvantages are not really disadvantages, they're just meant for different type of user. So depending what your goals are and what you're gonna be doing with an operating system, you can choose the one that fits your needs the most. Before you actually commit and decide to use Linux on your computer permanently, you can actually try it out first and get what's called a live distribution or distribution that can be downloaded on the USB stick and then you just plug it in the computer and you can try it out, see how you like it. But if you do like it, I strongly suggest that you install it permanently because it's gonna be working much faster. When you're using it on the USB stick, it's really great because it's portable, you can take it with you anywhere you go, but it's limited to the USB connection and you're not gonna be able to use the full power of your hardware on the computer. So definitely consider installing a permanent version of Linux on your computer if you wanna use it all the time. I have another video on how to install Linux Mint on the USB drives so you can take it with you anywhere you go. I'm gonna put a link in the description as well as a link in the upper right corner. So check it out if you wanna install Linux on the USB drive. The first question you wanna ask yourself before choosing Linux distro, do you need a distro more suitable for beginners or do you wanna have something for more intermediate or advanced users? Such distros as Ubuntu or Mint, they tend to be really user friendly and you don't need much skills to learn how to use it. They don't give you many options, but when you install them, they just work. And Linux Mint has a lot of similarities to Windows. On another hand, distributions like Arc, they give you a lot of options that you can customize almost anything in this operating system, but there's lots of room for failure if you don't know what you're doing. And if you're a beginner, you don't really need those options. And once you get more advanced, you can try it, but for the beginner, I would suggest you go with something simple, Ubuntu or Linux Mint or Fedora, elementary OS, OpenSUSE or Solus OS, something simple that you can use on an everyday basis. Linux Mint has a lot of similarities with Windows environment. What it means is if you install Linux Mint, you're gonna have a lot of similar things like on Windows, so it won't take you as long to get used to it, and you will feel yourself a lot more comfortable when you install Linux Mint than other Linux distros, because there you're gonna have to learn how to use them, and it could be a little bit not comfortable. So if you wanna have something more Windows-like, I would suggest you go with Linux Mint. It's real simple. And I have made a video how to make a Linux Mint USB drive. You can check it out if you wanna install it on the USB stick. But if you wanna try advanced Linux based operating systems, you can try Debian or Arc Linux. But keep in mind, those are gonna be looking a lot different and they're gonna give you a lot of customization options. So be ready for that. The question number two, are you gonna be running it on the modern hardware or are you gonna be using it on the older computer? If you're using it on the older computer, there is two distros that you can use. They're part of the Ubuntu distribution. They're called Lubuntu and Xubuntu. Lubuntu is one of the distribution that can use the lowest hardware you can find and it will still run on it. If you're planning to revive one of your old computers that have been sitting for years and you just wanna see how it's working and you can actually make some use of it, well, definitely try out the Lubuntu. It can really run great on any kind of hardware, like even the oldest computer you can think of. But if you're running it on a modern computer, then you can definitely use just a regular Ubuntu, which will require more powerful hardware, but it will get you more pleasing user experience as far as graphics goes. You can just do more things with these distros. But let's go to the question number three, and this will help us narrow down even more on which distribution we wanna choose. And the question number three would be, software repositories. What it means is actually Linux distributions, they come with different amount of software pre-bundled in the distribution. Every Linux distribution has what it's called software repositories. That's a place where you can go and download all the software that you need for daily use. And if you wanna have the biggest selection, you probably should stick with Ubuntu because they do have 
a really huge repository where you can download different types of software. And it also has more programs pre-bundled when you install it. You don't have to actually go to the repository and download the software. It already comes pre-installed with the installation of this distro. Or if you want to have to install every software yourself and you want to just have a plain operating system where you want to just pick whatever you want to install, go with Debian because it comes with the minimum software pre-bundled in this distribution and you can just pick whatever you need and have it installed manually. So this is a great option for those who want to pick their own software and choose what they need to install for their daily use. The next question you want to ask yourself, are you going to be comfortable using Linux desktop environment on everyday basis? Are you going to get used to it? If you want to have something more like Windows-like environment, then you definitely need to go with the Linux Mint. They tend to be more user-friendly for Windows users because they have the similar environment right out of the box and you don't have to get used to it. If you don't want to be adjusting to a new graphic interface, like let's say your desktop, then I would suggest you try Linux Mint because it's going to be real simple to get used to and it basically acts like Windows but it's much more safer, there is no viruses, it doesn't crash, so there is lots of advantages and it's free. Ubuntu on another hand it comes with Linux based graphic user interface so if you're okay with spending some time getting used to it and learning where all the things are then you can try Ubuntu because it's also really cool or if you're an advanced user and you want to work on your own environment you should try Arc because it doesn't come with any desktop environment at all so you basically have to install it yourself and set it up yourself on another hand it gives you a lot of options because you can just make it absolutely the way you like it but on another hand, it does take some time. And if you don't know how to do that, it's going to take you through some learning curve. There you have it, guys. These are my main tips on how to choose a Linux distro. I hope it was pretty thorough and it helped you decide which Linux distribution you need to choose for your daily use. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please support it with your like. Also, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss new videos. And if you want to go ahead and check out my other videos, I have a lot of Linux videos on my channel. You can check out how to install Linux Mint on the USB stick, how to do a Linux Mint full permanent installation on your computer. Also, I have a video how to install Lubuntu on a very old machine. It was a very old netbook with a very limited hardware. And after I have installed Lubuntu on this little netbook, it became operational up to this date and I can still use it for some daily use. I have another video about one of the latest, most popular Linux Mint distributions called Pop OS. So check it out as well. And also, if you want to install it alongside with Windows, you can do that as well. There is lots of content on my channel, so you can check it out. And there is going to be more to come. So make sure to click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you have any suggestions what Linux video you want me to make next, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to do it as soon as I can. But this is it for now. I hope you enjoy your day and have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.